Soap EastEnders is tackling the real-life problem of knife crime in the capital as Shaquille, played by Shaheen Jafar Ghali, suffered fatal wounds back in May. Poor Carmel, Bonnie Langford, was left distraught by the loss as her other son Kush, David Gadami, has tried to keep it together for the sake of his mother. It isn't just Carmel who has lost a child, as fans will remember Kush himself also had a son. However, the pair share a deeper connection that viewers may have forgotten. Kush had baby boy's heir with Shabnam Masood, Rahi Thakur. However the infant was tragically stillborn after he died in the womb. It looks as though this will have a bearing on their relationship as revealed by Kush star Davood. He told press including Express.co.uk, Kush has lost a son and Carmel's lost a son and ultimately there is an understanding of what it is between them to witness and feel the tragedy of what's going on. But there's no hard and fast way to deal with it. There will be breaking points for both of them. It's just it comes at different times. Davood's words also hint toward a rough road ahead for Kush who has seemed to keep his emotions restrained until now. Meanwhile, tomorrow we'll see EastEnders depart from its usual form as it will feature real-life families of knife crime victims telling their own stories alongside the characters. The show consulted with former cast member Brooke Kinsella whose brother Ben was stabbed to a death in 2008. Soap boss John York revealed Brooke was the first person they spoke to before going ahead with the plot. He said, this is a very special episode of EastEnders. Perhaps because of our relationship with Brooke Kinsella. The subject has always felt very close to the show's heart and so when we decided to tackle it she and her father were the very first people we spoke to to get their blessing. They were incredibly open and in turn opened us up to a whole new world of which we thought we knew something and realized we knew nothing. So through them we met the most extraordinary people and we wanted to get the show right, we wanted to get it absolutely accurate. It's a tricky subject to do and easy to get wrong and so we talked to the people they recommended. We kept talking, and the more we talked something really fascinating started to evolve, which was an idea that these stories were so powerful by themselves that really everyone just needed to hear those stories. EastEnders continues tonight at 7.30pm on 1.